Hi friends, it's Monday, May 18th. So I guess this is what, the third week of mania? Fourth week if you count? The first week was short. Um, two weeks left. <laughs> so this is where I got on Sunday on uh, the prairie birds. I just got a little bit of this robin done here. I would have gotten further, but I stitched all this and then I had to frog it all. And then I restitched it. So that's all I managed to get done yesterday. But uh, that's okay. This is fun. Prairie schoolers are fun. And I really like how these colors are looking on this gray, gray linen. Oh, gray might be the new white for me. Um, so that's what I got done on that. This is going to get put away. Now let's talk about this week. Okay. So, bum bears. Here's where we're at on Monday. My goal for the week, as I mentioned in past videos, I would like to finish this at least the stitching of it, if not the back stitching. Let's be real, I need the stitch from Stash Credit. I would like to finish this by the end of the month. Maybe it's a crazy goal, because the shelves are getting bigger, but we're gonna try. So in order to do that, um, I need to get to, I guess it's the one, um, the 160 mark line, um, row 160, which is basically along here, right under this guy's foot. Um, this week. So that's a lot, um, but I'm going to try. So that's the goal for the week is to get this is to get uh, this shelf back stitched and to get down below this guy's foot. So we shall see. Maybe I'll maybe I'll skip the back stitching for now. I don't know. Um, and I'm worried I'm going to run out of this color, the main color of the bears. So I guess uh, if I do run out of that color midweek, we'll change the goal, figure something else out. But anyway, that's my goal right now. So I better have some coffee and get stitching um, because I need to stitch a lot every day to accomplish that. But, you know. There are worse problems to have, right? <laughs> okay, so I will um, catch up with you guys later in the week and show you what I got done. Hey friends, it is Friday night, it's about eight o'clock, and um, I reached my goal on the bum bears for the week a couple hours ago before dinner, so uh, my goal was to hit to this line here. I think it's, I can't remember what it was on the chart, but it was another 40, 40 rows anyway, and I did. I think the, the break is somewhere along here. Um, I did run out of 3822, the main color in the bears, but I just managed, I went through my Oort Star um, and managed to get this guy finished with what I had left. My new skein is supposed to come on Tuesday, so provided there are no post office issues, um, I should be okay. I also had to order another skein of this uh, 780, this brown color. That is supposed to arrive on the 28th, which is gonna be cutting it close. I still have I still have quite a bit left on the skein, so I might make it, but in any case, so um, yeah, so that's what it's looking like so far. I, um, I basically have nine days left to finish this, so I'm going to pause for tonight, but I think I'm also going to have to do a little bit of work on this over the weekend. In addition to my new starts, my plan is to, um, tomorrow is to backstitch the shelf. Um, uh, actually, my plan is tomorrow and Sunday to backstitch these two shelves and have those backstitched by Monday morning and then um, set up my cue snap for Monday morning down over on this side. I figure... I can, this, um, this piece of cake doesn't have any 3822 in it, so I can work down here, do the fork, do this piece of cake, um, that's like, it's like four columns, four by three, so that's a lot of stitches, so I probably won't even complete that on Monday, but if I'll work on that on Monday, um, and Tuesday morning while waiting for the thread to come, then I'll, you know. I'll be able to work on it while I'm waiting for the postman. So that's my plan anyway. Um, 
but it's new start time. Um, so let's talk about that. So I had something else slated to be started this weekend, but then I got these things in the mail. So Michelle, Bendy said she posted this on Instagram, I don't know, a couple weeks ago last week, and um, I'm obsessed with it, so I bought it. Um, the personal is political. That is a motto after my own heart. And um, I love those soft colors. And uh, charts can't travel alone, so I ordered this Miss Molly's Friend Clarence it's by Mosey and Me. Um, this cat is fun. <laughs> so I think... <laughs> So I think I'm going to change up my plans and start this guy tonight. So um, I, it's only 74 by 85, so that will fit on this small cut of pink fabric. It's obviously a lot darker than the model fabric. I had a couple fabrics this color, but I thought this was a good use of this um, fabric. This is, what are you? Uh, 32 count deep magenta. It's a pretty pink color. So these are the these DMCs over here are called for. Um, 938, 422, where are you? 3823, 869, and 644 are called for. Um, I didn't, I have the called for green, but I decided to change it up with color and cotton winter garden. This looks less green in person. And... I didn't have 3779. She also calls for color and cotton brass as the optional alternative. I didn't have it. I do have color and cotton chiffon, chiffon uh, which is like this light pinky color. And that color on the chart is this. Um, it's, let me see, where is it here? It's, it's the pink that's in the antenna and in these flowers over here. So I feel like this will look okay on top of this pink fabric. Um, as an audible, if I don't like how that looks, or maybe I'll use this also, I also pulled Dove Gray, this like super pale blue color. So I think, I think these muted colors will look nice on this bright fabric. Um, and uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna start it in the middle because I don't have a Q-snap small enough, and uh, we'll see how much I get done tonight. Um, and I will catch up with you guys, I guess, tomorrow to show you what's up with bum bears and um, how I did on my new start, either tomorrow or Monday. Hi, Plastube. It's Tuesday morning, and I just realized I didn't check in with you guys yesterday. So I just wanted to show you this is how far I got on the personal is political over the weekend. I got the um, most of the butterfly done. Um, so not a whole lot. I spent most of the weekend sewing, but I, I got a good solid start on it. I'm going to try and get back to this this week, depending on how I do with my bum bears. So let's talk about that. So over the weekend, I also backstitched. It's up in the Q stamp now, and I'm not going to undo it, but I backstitched the second shelf. Um, and then yesterday I worked on backstitching a little bit of the third shelf and then finished this lollipop and started this candy. So my threads are in, they're in Brooklyn. They're at my local post office. They should be out for delivery today. So I'm hoping um, that I get them today or tomorrow at the latest. So that's good news. Um, not a great stitching day yesterday, so I'm going to have to make up for that today. And uh, we have to go run. Um, we have to go run some errands this morning. But when we get back from that, I'm gonna lock down and stitch. It's gonna be nice again tomorrow. It's gonna be nice today and tomorrow, but it's gonna rain Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So at least it'll be a rainy weekend, which will keep me indoors. Um, hopefully, meeting my goal. <laughs> so my crazy goal is to finish this. Finish this and finish one more of the Sunny Days Smalls before midnight on the 31st so that um, I can complete 
Oh, and also <laughs> have two more starts this weekend uh, in order to complete my mania goals, complete my, and to finish stitching stash in the positive. <laughs> so we'll see. That's uh, some crazy talk there. I'm going to have to start uh, staying up late or getting up early. I don't know which one. Um, but I'm going to have to turn it up to 11 today and tomorrow, I think. Anyway, I will check in with you guys uh, if, at least one more time this week. Oh my god, guys. Okay, it is Sunday. It is May 31st. It is the last day of May. It is 6 12 p.m. I've always been the person to leave their homework till pretty much the last minute, so this is nothing new. But I have finished da -da -da, the Bub Bears. I'm so excited. Um, Here's the last shelf there. There are some mistakes in the last shelf. Um, I bet you can maybe see them. Maybe you can't, I don't know. I'm not gonna point them out to you. I was getting tired towards the end. Stayed up late a couple nights in a row. Um, finishing this, I haven't even ironed it yet. I just took it off the Q-snap. So some of these stitches uh, need to be fluffed back up with thin iron, but that'll happen when I give it a wash. So. Uh, this is the Sweet Bears chart from Soda Stitch. I used all the called for colors. It is stitched on 28 count picture of this plus Lugana. Again, the colorway confetti. And it's big. I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. Look how good that looks. I can't believe I finished it. Didn't think I was going to make it. Um, okay, so. I got what, like six hours left in Mania. I gotta take a quick shower, we gotta eat dinner, and then I'm gonna see if I can squeeze in one more new start before uh, before the month is over. But I just had to share this right away because I am so jazzed. Okay, friends. It is, uh, it is June 2nd, and I realized I didn't do a um like a closing video to show you my last mania start um so first of all after i finished the sweet bears i took a couple minutes to uh get myself in the black run stitch room stash <laughs> i was a couple dollars short um i was like one dollar and fifty cents short so i completed this crap here i've been painting i've painted on my hands but it's not wet don't worry um, anyway, I completed this crab here, and uh, that was a quick $2 finish because it was almost done. So that is done. And then I worked for a few minutes that day also on this Bendy Stitchy design, Personal is Political, and that's as far along as I got on that. Just a little bit more done. Really liking how the colors are turning out on this fabric. And then I got my last new start of Mania 2020 in. I started Sue Hillis, Calories Don't Count at Christmas, and I decided to use this opalescent silver raw. Um, this is raw 28 count linen. Where's the sticker? There, I lost it. I think this is um, 28 count linen in the color raw, and it's the opalescent silver. Um, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, um, as you can see, I got a whole lot started there. That's the tippy top of this cherry. Um, but I think this will be pretty when it's finished. So that's it for Mania. Um, what did I learn? I learned that maybe sometimes I set my goals a little bit too high. I did, I did achieve my goal on the Sweet Bears, but I definitely didn't get very much done on my new starts. Um, I, um, hmm. I learned that you can get a lot done when you're mostly monogamous, but that you feel a little bit burned out because I have not, I didn't stitch at all yesterday on the first and I didn't stitch at all today on the second. And I don't even know if I'm going to feel like stitching tomorrow. Whew. Um, I feel a little discombobulated now. I'm not sure what to focus on next, but I'll figure something out and I'll report in my next regular scheduled video. Um, and last but not least, 
So I am going to be starting this um, needles and pins uh, as a stitch along with a couple other people. Uh, Shelly, hopefully. Um, seems so vintage, uh, hopefully. Um, Candice, are you, are you stitching along? Jenny, I think we talked about it, but then I never followed up. Um, I'm hoping to start this on Saturday, June 6th. Uh, so if anybody else is interested in starting this in the month of June and uh, stitching along with me, please do. I'm super excited. I didn't even check to see if I have any floss for this yet. I'm pretty sure I have fabric. I don't know. I mean, it's DMC. You gotta have at least one of the colors, right? All you need is one color, and that counts as a start. Anyway, I hope you guys had a fantastic mania. I'm gonna sign off here and put this video together, and I will see you in a couple weeks to uh, tell you how June's been going. Take care. Stay safe.